All right. Next thing, let's take a look at our guy again. We're going to need some armor plating in here. We're going to need something that helps us define what is going on in terms of the 3D capacity of this guy. Does that make sense? And then what's this looking like? Boom. This, got, this has one piece and then this has another piece. So we need to start to create these three-dimensional objects. And I'm going to create them separate and that will give me the chance to assemble this guy. So I'm going to have all these parts that I kit bash together instead of the way we did it last time, which is that we take a one piece and we start to kit bash, or not kit bash, but we start to panel loop and separate it out. So yet last week we looked at panel looping and separating out parts. Now we're going to look at creating these separate individual parts and then kind of kit bashing those together to make one crazy uh, beast here. In fact, let's put him up at the top just so we have him with us. I'm going to press, uh, well, let's just do it this way. I'm going to press this camera icon so he snaps up there. We're good to go. And now let's start creating um, some of these pieces. I think what I want to do is I'm going to start to create some kind of basic curvature, just a real simple half pipe. And then I'm going to take that half pipe, you have to excuse my drawing, uh, and I might cut a notch out of that, like that. And then we might go into an actual cube. And we'll kind of round this off, or we'll cut into that a little bit and start to just create these pieces. We might continue that cut, and then this way it, it kind of comes along that way. Just some random stuff so that we can kind of have these armor plates to start to work with. So what are going to be the, the basic, how am I going to start this? Well, here you can see we've got a cylinder. This is a cube. So those are going to be our base objects. Now what we need to do is make sure that we're getting this kind of curvature right. So that's going to be our variable. But let's go back to our primitives for that. Let's go back into the cylinder, the initialize settings. Okay, is there some way that I can cut this guy in half so that I only see you know, one portion of it? Well, maybe. You know, I definitely know trim will do it. But is there a poly mesh, a parametric object that lets me do that? I don't know. Helix. You know, I don't know. Let's, we've got the ring. And the ring has coverage. Let's Keep that pretty consistent. Keep the thickness. Okay, and that's kind of relevant. This is one thing that we could do. Uh, and then see if I make this a poly mesh, I can say mask off a section, go to move, and then just move that back. That's one piece. I'm going to rename this uh, cylindrical 01. Let me duplicate this guy. Uh, duplicate there. Okay. And let's start to see if we can cut this guy up. So let's divide it or let's Z remesh it. I am partial. 
to Z remeshing this and set that at one. Okay. Now what I want to do is start to cut this guy up. In fact, let's duplicate that. And I'll delete this. Well, let's keep everything. Okay. I'm going to slice. And um, let's get a little bit more. So control shift. Pressing Alt. I'm going to press Alt twice. And that creates a hard edge. And then come down. Okay. There we go. Perspective is off. This is one shape that I can work with. So the way we would do this, and let's see if we get into any problems. Control shift click, geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Let's turn uh, double on. Okay, and we want to close this. So let's go into curve bridge. Where did it go? Drag this out. Press shift. Okay. Small problem. You know, it's it's all one uniform piece. So how is it going to do that? Let's go and try some other options here. I'm going to go uh, da, 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 close holes. Okay, that's one option. See, we get some craziness in there. But that's not horrible because it's actually kind of a nice form. Can divide that poly mesh by feature. And we get some nice clean edging and some nice interesting work along there. So that's one piece, maybe a thigh piece that we can use. And the goal now is to go in and just start to create a, a bunch more. So um, since I'm doing this live with you, I want to rush a little. Uh, I'm going to come in, yes. And in this case, let's use trim. Okay, similar problem. It doesn't cut and allow us to kind of neatly fill it. But that is okay. A little bit of a problem there, but when you're putting this up against the model, you're not really going to notice that too much. Mm, pressing Alt. Okay, and then let's go the other direction. Notice which direction the the gradient is. The gradient was facing this way, so it literally just cut all that off. So instead of clicking and dragging from the top down, I'm going to click from the bottom and drag up. There we go. Duplicate. Kind of works. Works enough for me. And, uh, and then we've got a couple of pieces. Let's say S. And there you go. Do the same thing with a um, with a cube, and we're going to really start to get uh, some kind of crazy forms for us.